Mm, what's up guys? What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode our armies have finally landed uh, in Italy and we are ready to take the city of Naples away from the Spanish Empire. That will um, prevent these ports from causing too much trouble. Then we'll keep heading northwest towards Rome, then eventually on to Milan. But Milan will be garrisoned because that's going to be a bit of a cauldron. Um, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We still have a Spanish army to destroy with this force recruited in the Americas. So let's go. With Ernesto de la, de la Albuquerque, nearly, which is uh, pretty darn uh, accurate or relevant. So I'm going to have a drink of my coffee. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this campaign's gone really well. Effectively from the start, you know, once you knocked out Spain and France, we had a, a massive... Uh, well, a relatively massive tax base from which to expand. Um, yeah, so we're having a bit of a gap, a break from destroying the Russians. And we're going to knock out um, these Europeans. Then we are going to begin our invasion of India. All things being equal. Right, put my guns towards the back. They're going to engage the mortars off of the bats. My howitzers just open fire. With everything they've got. So we're not going to do a the massive sort of advance that I do with Mysore. We are going to be a bit more measured. I might put all my irregulars together. Because they can kind of support themselves. Put heavy cavalry near the irregulars. Because they are um, cavalry magnets. So charge towards their gun line. Newman can advance forward. Yeah, the artillery is just going to work on their howitzers. Let's redirect the fire of my howitzers onto some of these other units. Let's check that nothing stupid's happened, like my sound effects have been turned off. Push forward my heavy cavalry to engage their regiment of horse. Right, let's push them back. run my regulars into position because it looks like we're going to be in in position to start shooting imminently push my heavy cavalry up i may actually get my gunners to engage flank here that core of units it'd be good to take them out quickly push my heavy cavalry up regiment of horse has been hit we are getting hit by their mortars, my American infantry mercenaries, who look... I mean, so this is a unit that gets added with the additional units mod, and I think it's really neat. Fairly sure they get tomahawks in the combat as well, which is quite quite cool. So, so if you engage the first regiment, that will help. Oh, that's an excellent quick line. A few volleys and they're going to break. Get more good volleys over here. If we can make them break, which we have done. Excellent. Let's push up aggressively. Enemy are routing. Let's not do anything against their against their cavalry yet. Get all my guns to focus on the first regiment because they're returning. Use the Household Cavalry to charge the 3rd Regiment. They've hit our lines, but that's fine. So when late game infantry, when you've got... Oh, stake, stake, stake. Run that way. Run along the stake. Too late. These guys have already decided they're going to jump it. Same with you. Charge the 8th. Good. Infantry routed. Deploy my skirmisher line to keep engaging. Yeah, see, the cavalry all just collapsed quite nicely. Push the colonial line up to engage the enemy infantry. Get the guns to focus on this central position here. My light cavalry is engaged in a bit of a scrap, so I might charge a regiment of foot in to help them out. 
Then charge the 11th. We've got enough firepower in the cauldron. We're engaging this block of Spanish troops here, so let's just keep pushing it. We can ignore the gunners for now, mostly. Okay, fall my cavalry back. Because the enemy has a square formation. We don't need to chase down the enemy. Retarget my guns against the surviving troops. This cavalry is still... Oh no, look at this. So look, they, because they... I mean, it, it may be deliberate. And yeah, but they have knackered my household cavalry by staying within range of the cavalry defences, which is fair enough. And also, I'm not really paying attention to them as well as I should. Go on irregulars. I mean, I'm confident my regulars, well, these guys will be able to face them off. There we go. Excellent. That was their general unit, potentially. Pull back the cavalry. Advance the infantry. So, this is kind of what I always try and plan for fact that the enemy can just return. There we go. Really smart thing to do would have been just to place my auxiliaries around here. Sadly the fourth horse guards is retreating but they will live to fight another day. My general can sweep up these artillery men. They're gonna they are gonna fall. Got three batteries of artillery firing at them. Thirteen foot guards take a very dim view of their continuing to stick around. Just to make sure. They're getting some volleys off. How about you? Excellent. Victory is ours. That is the <laughs> that is the enemy destroyed. And the city is taken. So Naples, let's build, let's fortify it. Get rid of the college. Get rid of a dockyard. I mean, we've got Valletta, so we don't really need more military ports in the med. You are replenishing. We've got a seminary we can stand to destroy as well. Infrastructure's good. So you're on the border. You can't yet take the city because you don't have the movement points. <clears throat> but soon you will push. Okay, so you're ready. I mean, if anything, I'd probably want to fight on an open field here. You, on the other hand, you need to keep recruiting at all costs. Hanover, keep recruiting. Back here. So. You've got four slots. There's three units. Anyone on the move from anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. You have one slot remaining. Pretty sure I just want a bog standard infantry unit. Not colonial line. Let's get a regular line. Good. So. So, so, so. Where are you? Okay, you might... Mm. Okay, I've got a lot of fleets that I'm trying to build at the same time. That's the awkward thing. Because you're getting your Admiral, then you're done. So that's some trade fleets that are done. Same with you. Okay, let's... So you're all... Okay. Do I, do I, is it best to gather my trade fleets at the entrance to the med? I think so. Let's get them over here. 
ordens ao navio? Vai esperar de novas ordens. You guys occupy Porto. Ordens, Capitão. You're recruiting some bunch of thirds. Okay, let's get Portsmouth. Uh, Portsmouth on the go as well. Although those are for um, the start of escort fleets, effectively. Maybe Valletta. Let's start. Recruiting some ships in Valletta. Because we don't have much visibility. You're doing good, but you... Aha, I need a trade fleet to get over to West Africa. But you don't have the movement points. You do. We can get that battle fleet back home. In Madagascar, you also need a trade fleet. Two trade fleets, really. That one needs repairs. And then you... So you're nearly ready. Let's recruit some... Heavy privateers. Get some heavy frigates. Well, you're actually almost a... Okay, right, let's actually stop this. So that's potentially the bones of an escort fleet. Fourth rate plus third rate. So you can actually get... Something like that. You can take the fifth rate and go for... It's going to take a while to get anything really here, but I don't mind if it takes a bit of time. Fifth rates. I don't know why you're not... I thought they'd be a bit smarter than that, but oh well, I'm not going to sit there optimising it because that will take forever. Uh, you recruit Sloop to occupy the port. You guys come out to here. You're going to pick up some thirds and some fourths. Good, a great naval build-up. So I need to block off the um, Austrian access to the sea to prevent these armies from causing us too much trouble. Okay, let's create and recruit another admiral and let's start to build more well, admiral, general. Let's begin to fortify the city. Oops, went a bit mad. The main priority is just to get infantry up to the front line. You're already watching the Vive. You're ready to strike into Diasi. I have a force here at Kiev ready to drive west towards the Chis Church School and through the gap here. You're watching Breslau. This force in Warsaw is growing, although you need mortars, but you can't get them yet. I mean, you can't occupy the city without them falling over and being unhappy. You can't yet attack Russia, because we're not in range. Okay, you get two more units of infantry. Well, actually, yeah, you can only get two, so let's just do that. Then... I mean, forces in India are still growing, so we're going to take one of you guys. You're probably... 
actually, let's take... Uh, you're going to take some third rates. Well, you might even take a fleet to India, to be honest. We currently don't have one. The highest we can recruit are forts in this port, which isn't the end of the world. We might actually just start stacking some up. Because when we do attack, we're going to want to do the whole attack their entire coastline. Alright, I think we want to hit end turn and let the everything advance. I mean, we want an army here, realistically. So let's take you. David David de Torres, he's four star off the bat. Let's get a good army, two units of guards. We're soon going to run out of guards. And fusiliers and everything really. Start recruiting. You'll, we want them to drive forward into Copenhagen because I anticipate um, Sweden becoming a bit of a problem. And I may start recruiting another heavy fleet to help us compete in the Baltic and just to help block up all their ports. Yeah, our spies continue to push, as do our priests. Uh, looks like we can only take... Okay, let's take... Um, infantry unit out. Get the two Royal Cairo Infantry Guards in. I think both of those armies can stand to go to India. Because unless we have a war with Austria, that's my next target. Good. Austria's going to chase away the Spanish Navy. I think in Italy I may build up a fleet of rosés just to start raiding, getting ready to raid Ottoman port, uh, pr Austrian ports. Russia's pulling back to St. Petersburg. Are oh, they going to go after my lone ship? Um, withdraw. So I did have reinforcements, but it was only going to be a bunch of um sloops from my other nearby ports not my main fleet which is by design they didn't want to engage my main fleet continue to raid my russian friends time is running out for you so you want to give me to give you Ceylon. you want to give me Kashmir, sind and rajputana no At some point, Savoy has to turn on me. Persia will eventually declare war on me as well. But when, they, when we do, when that war is declared, uh, we will jump on them and their one colonial holding. A gentleman in New Spain, and there you will stay. New town emerges, El Paso. Craft workshop. Natural causes. No! De Sousa! Sousa, one of my generals. Oppose. Josh. Josue Figo. Josue Figo. Roberto Fernandez. Uh, why aren't my guys are dropping like flies? Wow, Morillo. Ah, oh, gentlemen. I don't care about that so much. One thing I do care about, though. that trade fleet in the East Indies is weak. Military technology. So we've researched shrapnel shot. They jump straight on to percussion shells. Fair enough. Okay, can you guys leave now? Minus one. Yes, you can. But you will recruit a musket auxiliary unit to provide local defense. You guys get over to Pennsylvania. You're finally here. So we can extract these militiamen. And probably try to get some heavier cavalry. I like my irregulars. 
Okay, let's get two heavy cavalry plus a unit of mercenaries. Good. So I want you guys to get involved in the action. Oops. Okay, so you guys are here to replace them. So that battle fleet can go back to Europe. Who's down here again? Genoa. You are here to replace them. Although you require fleet. We don't really have one. We can do that. Then uh, that was this guy, wasn't it? Okay, let's maybe swap you guys over. So they crashed into each other. So we can build you up. Good. Get a lot of trade out of here. 58,000 gold a turn. Lots of good recruitment. I'm going to let it all happen quite naturally. So in Naples, trade port, commercial workshop, trade port, craft workshop. Because they will, they will be fine with us because they're a good Catholic nation. Good Catholic peoples. I'm going to put Venice and Rome under siege. Because I want them to try and attack me. Berlin is still on fire. You've recruited cool troops. Let's upgrade this. Where's the building tab? Let's get this. Right. Don't so the, the important thing is don't click the tick, because that means you've read it. You go boost the military production across the board. Done that, done that. Done all the stuff in East Prussia. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, so much building. Amsterdam. The main thing really is just to get the roads. The rest of it I can just I can get from seeing things on the map. But it is quite efficient just to keep just to keep tabs on what you're what's going on in your empire via this menu. Because then you do kind of you don't forget as much as you may have done. Can you guys come out and you guys get into Courland? Minus three. One more turn. Then these guys will sit on the bridge waiting for Sweden to make a move. So you're close. Demand the surrender of Petrovskaya. Get the repairs on the go, start extracting some wealth from this province. And then you, good sir. Do you attack Kronstadt first? Draw this force plus the garrison to battle. Yeah, why not? So I'll push the garrison back. Um, then we'll attack the city, although we may not attack it this turn, we may siege it and then wait for the force of Petrovskaya to move towards the west. But in general, we are, yeah, we are very close to seeing the end of the Russian Empire, there's, there's no doubt about that. That's, that's gonna happen. The question is, where will the next war begin? Will it be in Europe or will it be in India? Because if it's not Europe, it's gonna be India. 
Okay, sadly my artillery is not going to be fully brought to bear. From a deployment perspective, we shouldn't get screwed over. So we deploy in a fairly standard line. Position my guerrillas. Lots of heavy cavalry in this army. I like it. Perfect for busting open heavy, heavy infantry European armies. And don't forget to move my general. No, we're not getting screwed over. Good. Move forward, men. The cavalry will move forward to try and stop us, but I don't care. Actually, a try name for the regiment force. And I would like my artillery to move up to here, although it's still not great with the town in the way. So these are the Grenadier Guards. These fellas are line infantry. Guard musketeers. They look pretty slick. Marines. Which look really cool. I like them. I like them a lot. See, I've not played as um, Russia with the additional units mod, so lots of this stuff I haven't actually played. Run my line into position so we don't lose our positioning. I want to curve the left hand left side up towards the town. Someone's wavering. limber out my heavy horse artillery because they move a bit faster. So there's lots of my artillery can, can stand to move up. There we go. Volley fire present. This initial force is going to get mowed down. They lost their officer. There he is. Grenadiers are shattered. To be honest, all my howitzers limber up as well. Bring up my general. The dragoons are advancing. Form square. Oh no, doesn't matter. My horse grenade guards are popping off shots. I think my regulars can afford to uh, move a bit more sprightly. Heavy cavalry moving around. I like my heavy cavalry being a reserve. How oh, it says advance. The heavy horse guard are a bit. These guys are a bit more sprightly than these guys. Good kills, good kills.
They're advancing directly towards my regulars, so they're gonna be They're gonna get their they're gonna get some action soon. My artillery's not gonna be in position, but if I can knock out these marines. Well, we've got a bit of support. They're plinking at my cavalry, so let's spread out. Well, the cuirassier, let's go on a searching expedition. So my light infantry will engage. Good, the marines have fallen. So let's take three units. Fill in this area here. Take the former artillery positions. And these units push through the town. There we go. The head of the column's been hit. My irregulars are getting some shots off. And guerrilla mercenaries. Engineers building defensive fortifications. Oh. Engineers are actually bayonet charging us. do with some artillery support. New men may form square on the edge. Bring my horse grenade guards to bear. Get these engineers to help in this engagement. You men push up to here. Fusiliers push up to here. Good. The right hand flank has collapsed. The enemy is redeploying. Let's continue to surround their position. Push my other cavalry forward. Demon got out of square, form up and deploy. Artillery is going to be out of the action for a while. So I want my artillery up here. My foot artillery, that is. Excellent. So that's the enemy. Guard a cheval destroyed. Let's take my marines out of this engagement. My engineers are out there. Put them here. Unlimber the howitzers. Switch them to the round shot in case they shoot the wrong things. Go on, fusiliers. About face. You have enemy marines back there. Not just... Not just anybody. charge you, so you better get ready. These skirmishes are going to be incredibly useful. Position my cavalry. Okay, you men. Hold position! format. Don't need to pursue. We are what we're going to pursue, so don't take that the wrong way. What I mean is we don't need to compress the circle anymore. You want to go after the marines. You're going to go after the mercenaries. You're going to go after the marines. Everyone here, fire it will off. There you go. Let's fast forward time. So I want to focus on you killing the marines, because then you can more easily be freed up. You guys see... Girl, she's got light infantry behaviour on. Ooh, the artillery. Let's ceasefire them. 
try to go for the foot guards, but you're probably not going to get them. They're so spread out, we have to kind of... Oh, make sure my cavalry's fire it all off. But yeah, because these guys are routing through the town, they're probably not going to get them all. I don't know, two left. Hey, they are going to get them. Well, how about that? All of you try to get one unit. No, he's going to... There's two of them over there. Oh, they got him. Nice. So that Russian concentration is obliterated. Oh, so, more so obliterated. So then you... You're going to replenish and then put St. Petersburg under siege. I don't even mind if these guys come back into the action because you guys can leave Komi and storm in from the east. Double helpings, fellas, and you're actually coming in from the south. You won't get support, sadly, from them. You're on your way. Then these guys raiding can just do raiding things. I don't want you guys to get too badly damaged. Let's see what the deal is. So this area is completely vulnerable. All these border areas are very, very vulnerable. So if we can land, capture these two bridges, or these two crossings, that will prevent these guys from pushing north. But that's quite aggressive. I do not think that's going to be doable. Um, okay. Then we can take you. It's probably easier if I just... Actually, you go here. I'll move the, the shit the man out. You guys get in. Embark. So then you guys can get over to Sandy Bay. We're recruiting some more thirds. Oh, I've brought the wrong units along. Yeah, they're heading to our, the Russians are heading to our schools trying to steal our tech. But they're not going to get it. Casimiro. Which one was... Casimiro. Let's make Casimiro a general. Regiment of Horse. Carabiner. Curacier. Get two years across here, because heavy cavalry is always good. 124 horse guard, one heavy howitzer unit, and then let's get them and something like that. We've done all this. Cool, cool, cool. I suspect we will be attacked by the Russians, but I don't mind. You have got your recruitment ongoing. Good. So everyone that's been recruited is going to march off or sail off to wherever they need to get to. They've got a big build-up at Istanbul. It makes you wonder if they're going to cross. I was going to say, if they don't attack us, they're mad. We are going to fight it, but I'm going to quickly take a little break. Just a second, everyone. And I am back. And now, yeah, we get to fight this Spanish army. And we're going to get a chance to destroy the garrison of Rome quite easily. And I don't think we will be fighting outside of the walls of, Par outside the walls of Rome. Because we've been attacked by a third army to the conflict rather than the garrison sallying so it should be an open field battle to which the garrison will march in support a bit of rain let's drop some guns into the line you 
you guys are the guys we've not deployed. Crack them back here. Make sure my mercenaries are all marked up to show that I've deployed them. Guards, men on the flank. Just give them a grid of mercenary to each on the flank. So I'm kind of assuming we don't get screwed over by deployment. So then I've got my heavy horse here, firing over our heads. Split the howitzers. Rockets do what rockets do. Eh, not massively screwed. Can't, not. Eh, that's fine. Just pivot my line. Everyone's free to engage whoever they wish. They don't have any. Well, they do have artillery. So a lot of fire is going to head their way. Are the rockets not in. Yeah, they're in range. Oh, it just takes them a bit of time. Come on, rockets. Rockets away. I'm focusing on the... I'm focusing on the artillery. But yeah, the... Uh... Okay, I'm happy to let my artillery just focus on them. Cavalry just form. Pop up in the line, my horse grenade guards, and get some shots off as well. Yeah, militia, militia, militia. Western European mercenaries. Garrison line. I've killed their general. Well, their artillery. It's the artillery we want to get. Although, if they're happy just to let me quick climb the bejesus out of them, then I'm gonna. This artillery may struggle with this unit because they're on the reverse slope. These guys are angry at my engaging of the enemy troops. Good volley. A few men fire in time. Hopefully the grenadiers will get within range as well. Phew! That was close. If we can, canister the ninth. If we drop into squares, that's fine. Shrapnel the 13th. Quick climb coming in, good kills. Push my cavalry on the right forward. Yeah, there we go. Killed about 15 gorillas. Okay, let's get my heavy horse howitzers to focus on the second regiment. We need to sweep in and make some progress on the right flank. Combine the cavalry to smash the 6th regiment. So you just shrapnel shot. Oh, oh my god, that was a lot of kills. I think everyone's making ready. Good volley. Another volley. Can we take them over? Yeah, we made them break. Good, that means they will. Oh, they're shattered as well. That's perfect. Even better. You men start to engage the troops coming off the hill. Push it up. Rockets are going in against probably. The trouble with the rockets is you can't actually target them. Otherwise, they will just decide, oh no, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to run towards where you just click. I'm not going to attack them. That'd be crazy. Let's send my Lancer guards after the enemy guns. You guys hold here. Oh, 
Okay, where's my other helmet unit? Over here. They're blowing holes in the enemy tr in the enemy line as they're pushing in. Even slightly rotate. Oh no, there we go. You can actually hold for now while the ninth comes in. Although when they're closer, go for the ninth. There we go. Okay, so the new guys. Push forward. Push forward. Press the air, go for the 13th. Don't go for the line infantry. Heavy cavalry is still vulnerable. Two proper line infantry. My gunners here just pour fire. And all of you men smash the 23rd. Because then. You guys push forward. Charge my heavy cavalry in. Just smash them. Because my hussars are light cavalry. They're mostly for pursuing guys like that. But these are the ones we need to kill. So I smashed into them with my hussars. The horse grenade guards can... No, it didn't even need to deliver the killing blow. Demon pursue. All my artillery switched to round shot. Engage the 20th back there that's forming square. Get the Royal Cairo infantry guards in. Get a selection of infantry to form. Defensive, an overwhelming defensive line. I see you men redeploy. So I kind of don't want them to. I don't want these these garrison units to be destroyed because I want them to remain in the garrison but just be weak. I might actually make my foot artillery cease fire because the, the angle of the shot, yeah, see they're going to be landing shots right where my infantry wants to be. Hello gunners! Come on, stop 14th. Wait a minute, this, look at this guy, he just totally strangled him. The rockets dealt with them. New men just form up. Okay, let's speed up time. Because. Kill the gunners, that's for sure. We don't want them getting away. come back for. The horse grenade guards do not think much of that. Oh god, there are more of them. Yeah, as I'm just doing a bit of mopping up, I think speeding up is necessary, otherwise this will just take way too long. Smash with the night of guards, smash into the militia. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. I mean, the garrison's already pretty weak. Uh, opportunity to intercept. Uh, theoretically, yes. Practically, no. Oh, now they've surrounded me. But the armies are super weak. Let's form a circular defense. Oh, 
let's get yeah let's form a form a ring of steel around 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 our general get some guns pointing in all directions then we will adapt as required and I'll probably send my cavalry out of the defensive position to go sniping artillery ooh in the town interesting so get my gorillas in some key buildings so I want to deploy a fair I want to deploy some units straight ahead My howitzers are going to be deployed back here in the safe zone. So I want some gorillas to go into there, some gorillas to go into here. Let's deploy two units like so. If I'm going to hold, I'm going to put my horse grenadier guard, well, my heavy horse artillery here. I want a good amount of infantry here. So you think of it, that is one. That's one front. It's another front. On the left we've got you guys, the Marines can hold this house and you guys and here that's another front. Got our engineers as our reserves and our cavalry are going to mob anyone who spawns behind us. With my general in the center. Okay, there we go. Opening fire straight ahead. My howitzers shoot, killed an enemy general. The artillery on the infantry on the artillery position on the left is out of range. Let's deploy two cavalry units over here. Comes the enemy cavalry, guard a cheval. Form square. Apologies, Sneeze Town. Well, the square is going to throw them back quite nicely. So, the unit on the right, focus on this block of cavalry. Alex is on the left, focus on this block of cavalry. You know the gorillas are involved. It's one unit of dragoons pushed away. Killing a couple of the enemy generals there. So they may choose to rush the house. By we're betting them. That is their plan. Here's the enemy general's bodyguard. I've got engineers to hold here. Keep holding the square. Garda Cheval may be winning decisively. But now. towards the house. Yes, they killed some of their own. Push forward, men. Uh, Countercharge those marines. Force them off. Ok, 
Okay, let's push up my heavy cavalry. Push up my infantry plus some heavy cavalry on this left and leftmost axis. There we go, we pushed off the guard musketeers. Big old howitzer, grenadiers, just bombard on the bombard the left now. You men can push out on the right. Charge into the foot guards and line infantry shouldn't be a problem. And then with the guns, it looks like the, the straight ahead is not going to be the threat anymore, it's now the threat on the right. Garrison line. Can you even push up? Goofy's these grenadier guards behind the main line of resistance. More troops coming in now. Charge this unit of foot guards. May. Maybe it's too much, too much, too much, too much. Kill these grenadier guards. Pivot my guns. Okay, let's push their flanks. Begin the begin the squeeze, pull my cavalry back. Who did you get chased by? Dragoons. Enemy Dragoons. Warm up and start shooting. Get my mercenaries up here as well. Engage the horse kind of guards. There goes the infantry. Okay. Oh, they killed a, my marines. No, not my marines. Although, that happens if you station units in buildings, they get destroyed. Oh, I accidentally hit by the howitzers there. Heavy horse, heavy howitzer artillery and limber. <laughs> heavy horse artillery and limber. Nice. Push forward into the into the woods. Clear out. Through the woods. How it is soon going to be at the limit of their usefulness. Horse guards charge the foot guards. Press here, charge the line. If no one else comes in, then we can do some redeploying. Also, cavalry charge the 3rd Regiment of Militia. Looks like that army's cleared out. This is the new threat. So let's get over here. Too sweet. Guys, unlimber. These men keep killing. General, get over here. There goes one unit of militia. Push on, attack the second unit. My 
foot artillery is engaging the third, which is perfect. Okay, let's pivot this formation to get into the flank. Push on and engage the third with the household cavalry just to make sure they do route. Just keep killing them, stop them from their morale getting back. Although it looks like they are soon to break. Go after the Sakers. Broken. You want to do terrible things to the 48th. You've got a great field of fire. They're being picked off by my mercenaries. But we're going to be doing bits and pieces of damage. Yeah, they're reforming their square. But the volleys are crashing in. Yeah, they were not long for this world. Cease fire the artillery. Ceasefire, the infantry. Let's just end it there. There's no point chasing them down. They are 100% um, done for. Jab. Fall back. Fall back. Uh, no, I'm not going to attack. Feel free to raid a port. There is nothing you can do. You cannot escape me. And any technology you can steal will be completely useless for you. Come the Moscow Raiders. So Sweden may soon complain about us. But they will be dealt with. Some ships, sir. Uh, that's a good fleet. I wonder where you're going. They could cause havoc in the trade zones. But I think they're trying to get to the... Oh, that's two full fleets. I wonder if you're good fleets. So you made it to the med. That's quite good, because then we can bottle you in. And then engage you at our convenience. Let's see what the Marathas offer today. I have no interest in in uh, military access. We will get plenty at our time and choosing. So they're continuing to scoot around. Persia is, is now the time? No, apparently not. Don't mind raids. You're gonna see um, reinforce. New town emerges. A town in Lithuania. Traits gain. Lots of good traits. Felipe Frig Figurido has done good. So has Toccato Sobrino. Sobrino. Good. Port blockaded. Fleet arrives. Okay, so you taking a position here. To you, we're going to hold and recruit some more, a few more trade ships. Just get something like, just get some sixth rates. Good. Battle fleet raid some of the trade lanes to see if we can get some, we may as well extract some, some value, some revenue. Third rates are going into you. So then this army embark. You sail to India. Well, I think this fleet then takes the position, takes up the position in Sandy Bay. Sandy Bay. 
begins to rebuild. Build a new battle fleet. Artillery fort in Poland. That's as big as that's as high as I want to go. Good. You still have your orders to move. Okay, good, good, good. Great states, commercial ports. Russia is raiding it for now, but it will not be an enduring problem. Kiev is growing. Starting to get some top tier buildings built, which is nice. Good, good, good. Up tier industry. I mean, the AI really does not build many higher level um, high level artillery buildings they seem a bit slapdash steam engine factory iron masters works I mean industrial capacity of our empire is has to be unmatched done that done that I think it must have gone upwards a bit raids workers on strike in the black hills but they got over it quickly check the infrastructure across the board to make sure i've not forgotten anyone because roads are the ones that are the most easy to forget for me anyway when you're trying to build other things you at least get the hammer and sickle not sickle hammer and saw i think um but with roads you don't actually unless you can visually see it there's no real acknowledgement that you've not got it, that you've not upgraded them. But it looks like we've got them all. Okay, okay, okay. Can you leave now? So if you get in, and you get in. Minus one. Yeah, they're okay. So you guys hold the bridge on our side of the river. To be honest, we've, this is this is you do not deserve a final battle, Russia. So they kill the unit of our marines, and you will get them back. So you men hold here. You push up to St. Petersburg. Keep on with the church school. Don't need the naval hospital. We need new roads. Let us fortify the town. You're replenishing. You're in good strength. You are going to position up here on the Finnish border. Now we can actually repair lots of the stuff that they've done to us. Which means a lot of these territories can be a lot of this stuff can be upgraded next turn so don't forget about that so you're at full strength you okay so this is the key okay right let's send you guys here you're going to sit on the main road so you can storm towards this breach as quickly as possible you're still building up this force, which is not going to be a heavy, heavy force. Let's get some horse artillery. You're going to be your job is to run in, smash and grab, take Iasi. Another army may be moved by sea to land in Varna. Are there any? There's no garrisons here, so we can land here and then run to this bridge really quickly. So that may be what you do, 
sir. So you need two howitzer units, which you can now get. Then when you're done, yeah, you will move by C. Crimea garrison is soon to be. Actually, you may bolster this weakened this this army here. Because it's not going to be a, this isn't a fighting army; it's a holding army. Although I moved them all, that's completely not what I wanted to do. You get back to Crimea. You're going to push to the fort. Actually, no, you push to here. It's kind of a bit backwards how I've done it, but that's okay. Can you leave Cherkask? You can. You may push up to here. Okay, now our frontier is more secure. Comey's converting nicely. Okay, so we're ready to jump on Sweden if that is required. You're on with recruiting your guard armies. We want to guard this bridge. You're fully equipped and ready to fight. I may put you by Calais with a sloop ready to ship you over to Christiana should they elect to attack us. Then down here in Tunis, really what I want is a army ready to fight and defend defend tuners let's get one unit of guards just to make it a bit different then we'll fill it up with native troops your conversion's really good we're gonna keep going actually i can okay do i so this indirectly helps savoy but it will help me too when i try to take it but when they eventually declare on me still chipping away at cairo gaining religious unrest Resistance to foreign occupation is interesting. Whose land... Oh, Savoy is raided. If they get Cairo, that would be really interesting. Jerusalem is becoming Catholic. As well, Damascus. I mean, the Ottomans may elect to attack us. They've got Nizam infantry. The Georgia garrison is really quite strong. Let's get some 12-pounders should they break any of our walls down. You're ready to rock and roll. You can probably leave Taki. You can. So let's put you on the border with Persia. Make sure we didn't miss any troop arrivements in Italy. In India, rather. Which we haven't. To be honest, three armies is enough to land. Who are you allies with, Marathas? Allies with Sweden, Austria and us. You know, it's the end of the episode, so let's kick off this war. You choose your alliances, my friends. Alliance broken. Austria broke with the Marathas, as did Sweden. Everybody abandoned the Marathas, and everyone is joining our war. Hurrah! Very well. Land. Land at Goa. Yeah, there's one ship, but that's okay. We'll just sail around them. They, they refuse to surrender the city. Fair enough. You men will embark. You may want to embark and just... You won't push out aggressively. You will hold until we take the city. Then you will expand outwards. But I'm glad everyone abandoned the Marathas. Okay, so let's push. 
our fifth rate out into some of the neighboring ports. Get some visibility on what's coming. You're building the Shanovar Wada. Quite sure that does, but it sounds pretty good. Royal Indian Infantry Guards. Very well. Let us raid whatever ports have been developed. Even the ones that haven't been developed, we will put a ship in there. Just to stop them from doing anything with it. So they've got an they've got a force here. Well, that's only a Jebek. Let's put an admiral. He can block it. You sail up and attack Bombay. And then attack Surat. I mean, yeah, they don't have any. I mean, ultimately, you don't really need fourths. Sixths, just spit them out as fast as you can. Um, but looking at the timer, we're going to take this force. And they're forcing us to attack, which we will, because we don't want to damage these other armies. So yeah, it should be a short and sweet one to kick off the next episode. But the invasion of India has begun. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the, hopefully the quick battle of Goa. Cheers, everyone.